How to replace a toilet flapper valve. Easy DIY plumbing. A toilet flapper valve, the flush valve assembly, is actually when you flush the toilet, it's what pulls up the mechanical arm inside the flapper that actually allows the water to go down into the bowl. Now to fix that really is not hard to do. As you can see, I've got my toilet with me, but I'm gonna show you more about it to make this one of the easiest things you can do. If this doesn't fix your problem, I'm gonna show you the part that you may need to replace to keep it from running anymore. And this can save you a trip from a plumber. Now this is the entire flapper valve assembly. The flapper, the black rubber part here, this is the part that you're actually gonna replace. What I want you to know is, in the middle of replacing this, you're gonna reach down and you're gonna feel this seal right here because if this is cracked, nicked, worn out, or anything like that, changing your flapper isn't gonna help. Now if you've got too much chlorine in your water, chances are this flapper is gonna feel real soft and rubbery, almost like cotton candy. And I hate to say it, it can get that soft. And if it's black, you may want to wear gloves because if you reach in and touch it, you'll get that chlorine eaten black rubber all on your fingers and it doesn't come out easy. This is how the flapper assembly works. You've got a chain here and when you flush the handle, it pulls up the water. That allows the water to go down from the tank into the bowl and actually flush the toilet. As you can see from here, and I'll show it to you on the tank here in a minute, but as you can see, this flapper here literally just unhooks and comes off. And the neat thing is, Whichever one you put back on, hooks right on, hooks right on, and does the same thing. As I go through these steps and show you what to do, I want you to remember the last thing first. Make sure you've got the right flapper. If you stay to the end, I'll tell you what you need to do to make sure you got the right one, because as you can see, I've got plenty of them. So like I said, here's the flapper. Here's the flapper valve that you see. And plumbers actually call this a flush valve because when you pull on the handle, this is what actually flushes your toilet. So as you can see, where the flapper is attached right here, this is where it pivots and goes up and down. So to remove the flapper, the very first thing you're gonna do is turn off the water. So reach down under there and turn off your angle stop. The next thing you're gonna do is flush the toilet. You wanna get as much water out of the tank as possible. That way, you're working in a dry environment. Then, go ahead and take the lid off. And I'll tell you what, be very careful with these because I've seen many plumbers drop and break a lid and then you're trying to find a way to replace it. As you can see, you're looking at this from the backside. When you look at it at home, you're gonna be looking at it from the top, so just understand, it may look a little bit different. So now we're actually gonna start removing the flapper. And the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna reach in and you're gonna unhook the chain from the handle. And then, reaching from above, you're gonna disconnect your flapper, that way you can pull it out. As you can see, this flapper is different than every flapper that I've got here. But I wanted to show you the different things about them and what makes them unique. Some of the flappers actually have a round piece on them. And what this is for is, some of the old flappers didn't actually just hook on with the ears like that. Some of the old flappers, you actually put on the tube and slid it down into place, and that's how it worked. Now this one won't let me slide it down all the way, but if you've got one that does not have ears like that, you need to make sure that the flapper you get has the round piece on it like that. That way it'll slide right down your overflow tube. So we've removed the flapper from here. Now the next thing you wanna do is you wanna fill that seal that I told you about that could be leaking. Here it is where you can actually see it, and it's this lip right here. Wherever the flapper goes down and seals off to, you wanna make sure you feel that. And what you're really feeling for, you're feeling for any nicks, cracks, cuts, real rough edges, anything like that. This rubber needs a good smooth surface for this to seal off with in order to not leak water into the bowl when you don't want it to. So now we're to the point where we're gonna install the new flapper. Now I'm actually gonna put the same one back in because I know that's the exact one for this toilet, but look at the difference. See how this has the little metal clips? Some of these just have rubber that hang over it. And I'll actually install this one just to show you. All you do is clip it around the ears there, clip it around the ears there, and make sure that it seals off real good. This is one thing that I'm telling you there's not a homeowner out there that cannot change their own flapper. And these things are inexpensive enough. Even if you rent a property right now, you may not want people in your house. Go down to the hardware store and see what they have. If you can find the right flapper, it's gonna be phenomenal. 
If yours attaches like this, all you do is grab the bottom and pull it up and unhook it in order to remove it. So there's lots of different ways that flappers can attach. One of the things to remember is if your flapper has a cork on it. And the reason that this is important, when this goes on, and it, this one mounts just like the other one, it flips over the ears. And what you want to do with the cork, you want to set that cork where it will set right below the top of the overflow. The reason being, the bottom of this flapper does not hold as much air as some of the other ones. And as you see, this one here holds quite a bit of air. This one does too. This one, this one doesn't. See how small that is? So if you take this off, and trust me, I've had a plumber that worked for me pull this off and throw it away. Now the bad thing is, it doesn't work right, and I had to go back and do the same job again. So what happens is, you put this on, you get it where you want it, you look at where you want your water level, and I always put about the middle of the cork there, because the cork's not gonna set right on top of the water, but if it goes down a little bit, now I know I'm gonna be okay. To adjust the cork, all you do, slide off the little plastic piece that locks it, put it where you want it, slide the plastic piece right back in place, get it up where it goes, take off the one on the other end, and slide it back in place to lock it. That way, when you put your flapper in, you know your cork's at the right level. That makes sense, doesn't it? Make sure you don't throw the cork away. It's not gonna flush right. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the flapper back in, put it in, lock it in place, the next thing you want to do is you want to adjust your chain. Now, this one actually has a chain. Some of these actually have the ball bearings, and they adjust just about the same. This one here, you've got a hook right there on the end. So once you get it in and get it set to where you want it, what you want to do, you want to let your flapper set in position. You want to hold the hook up to the same height it'll be when it's hooked into the handle. And you want to make sure that you've got just a little bit of slack in it. Then once you get it there, lock it in, and then go ahead and install it. So on this one, I know that we're already adjusted. And as you can see, there's a little bit of slack in the chain. Then you want to check the range of motion. If you go to flush this handle, you want to make sure the flapper comes up as high as it will, and the handle doesn't come up above where the tank lid will be. So right there, when I pull this down, my flapper is coming all the way up and touching the overflow valve. So I know that I'm good. While you're in here, you want to remember, fill that seal. You want to do that before you put the flapper on because if there's anything at all on that seal, you're going to have to change out the entire flapper valve assembly or flush valve assembly, whichever way you call it. This looks good though. So right after you adjust the chain, let's reach down, turn the water on. Then we're gonna flush it and make sure, but when it fills up, we wanna make sure it does not come within the top half inch or so of the overflow tube. Then flush it to test it and flush it more than once. Watch it do it multiple times. What you're looking for, does the flapper stay up when you flush? And does the bowl get a full amount of water to help it circle and clean out and flush everything down like it should? After you've tested it multiple times, it's time to put the lid back on. And again, you want to be real careful because I've seen many plumbers break these. Now the big tip on these is getting the right flapper. As you can see, I've got different ones, I've got different sizes, different colors, different shapes, I mean different everything. This can be overwhelming sometimes even for a plumber. And a lot of these are universal. Some of them are made by the manufacturer. But one of the best things to do, and mine's gone, but normally inside the tank lid, you can see a model number. Look on the front of the tank down at the bottom on the bowl to see if you can see who the manufacturer is. If you can determine the manufacturer and the model number, chances are you can contact them and get the right flapper. That is the best thing to do. But if you're gonna get the flapper, you might go ahead and order the entire flush valve assembly. The reason being, if you feel that and it's not smooth, you're gonna wanna change this out too. And we teach you how to do that in a whole different video. If you've ever had to replace your flapper or you've got a toilet running right now and this may be the problem, do me a favor, leave me a comment down below 
and let me know. Anyway, I hope this helps you out. And if you want to see that other video, we'll put a link to it right over here. I'm Roger Wakefield, Elite AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video. If you don't get, ooh, well, I almost did it. I'm, and I knew I was close. I'm Roger Wakefield, Elite AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.